Saludos a todos y welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Balls. It's been a while, but let's just get to it because I feel this will be a very long episode. So you might be wondering why are we up here next to Uptown? Well, because we're going to hunt for some Jiggies before going to Jigosium, since I miscalculated some some things. So behind this uh, orange house, there's Jolly Dodger. Uh, Purely known as Jolly Roger from Banjo Tui. <clears throat> this is one of the many locations Banjo. Uh, Banjo. Uh, Jolly Dodger is going to appear. One is here, one, another one is beneath that bridge. He appears on that dock over there. Uh, I believe there's another one, but I don't remember where. So let's talk with him. So he sells us uh, some Jiggies, black market Jiggies. So let's, I don't have enough money for all five of them, but I have enough for four of them. So let's get the mysterious glow jiggy, which will be dispensed at the jiggy dispenser right behind, yeah, beside the castle. The big bunker, Mr. Jiggy Wiggy, and Puzzling Wonder. Now Jiggy Tastic is the last one. Uh, worth 125 notes which we don't have so we'll have to look for Jolly Dodger some other time in the meantime we're going to go to another Tamper G location so I'll speed up till there so bear with me <laughs> because we're bear uh, never mind <laughs> Okay, we're here, it wasn't that long of a distance, but beneath the lighthouse there's this tunnel inside the cave, which we actually came here before. So let's turn this and we get a free Jiggy. Now with that we get up our count, we get our count up to 79 Jiggies. Our goal for this time is 83, so I'll go pick up the other Jiggies, the Black Market Jiggies, and I'll see you at the Jiggy Bank. Seriously? Wow. Maybe if I talk slowly, you will know what I'm saying. Oh no, the police is going to get me. But we're here! Okay, so with 83 Jiggies, we open up the last chapter episode of uh, Act of Jigosium. Uh, so, and we get some more parts. Uh, the Wilder's Bread, not really interesting, and that. So, I'll just jump cut till we are at uh, the Jigosium part. Boop, and we, uh, we're here at Act 5, which is a Gruntilla fight. But, we're not going to fight Gruntilla in this episode at least. You might be wondering, I can hear you through time and space, you're saying Jalisco, why are you skipping Gruntilla fight if, if it's not the last episode? Act, sorry. Well, the answer is simple. I'm actually going to end this chapter with that Gruntilla fight, so we can move on to the uptown levels. So we needed 83 Jiggies to get to the last act of this place. Which, it's... well, you'll see. Also, don't worry about the Gruntilla fight, I'll be recording that today as well. And uh, it's um, 6, 10 p.m. right now. I think I'll upload them at, I don't know, whether they will be up at 12, maybe tomorrow morning. I'm not really sure, we'll see, but they will be, be, they will be uploaded um, one after the other with an hour... Um, Oh, one hour later, the Gruntilla fight after this one. So, first off, we're going to fight against this little big fat pig. <clears throat> Time to stop playing games, punk. This is the real thing. You versus me, first of all, the ring is first with next weakling. Okay, so we're going to uh, push this thing out of the ring, but as you can... Well, it doesn't move that fast, it's just... Yeah, it's really, really um, heavy car. So we're going to have to push that little big ugly piggy, fat piggy, out of the ring, the place. So I'll meet you when we're done building our car. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so with that we have the Potion Mark 3, which we'll be putting to the test right now. I sure hope this works. Um, really, I hope that. The problem is the breaking part. But I think we're going to be a okay. Whoa, this stumbles. I forgot about that. Mmm, kick you in the nuts. Okay, you know what? Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. You won't win. Yes! One out of two! Three? We, we need to win three? Damn it! I, I thought it was only two! Okay, let's... Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Come on! Push! Uh, hit you in the nuts! Uh, uh, hit you in the nuts! And blow! And hit you in the nuts! Yes! Number two. Okay, so uh, sorry about the uh, lack of commentary there. Um, now that we are at the third round, holy shinobi! <clears throat> As you can see on the top part of the screen, this is time based and score based. The time is that doesn't reset, so you have to win three rounds without. Uh, reaching 50 seconds, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 50 seconds, which we managed pretty good. Also, as the rounds round progress, it's, it gets um, a little bit harder every time. So, as you saw th that last time, he actually lifted me off the ground completely. But we managed nonetheless. Okay, so after beating. Mr. Piggy, we're going to meet with uh, bottles here. What are you? It's machine time. Okay, yeah. This is a good one. <laughs> hey, this, the dice smash game is fun. Uh, something. Uh, have a go. Can, can you? Yeah. Nah. So we have to smash um, dice to win score. To, well, to get score. The score you get for. Um, Dice. It's different. Being uh, it's different depending of the die. The white die is the one that gives you the le the least points, and the metal ones giving you the most. So let's just modify the potion mark three a little. We're not going to save this. Um, actually, what did I just do? Okay, let's just try with this and see what happens. Okay? Yeah, sure. That's what I wanted to do. Because as you can see, breaking these, um, the white dice are pretty easy to break, just ram into them and you're pretty much done. As for the wooden blocks, you have to crush them against the walls. I'm not sure if um, going fast enough is good enough for this. As for the metal ones, I'm not really sure how to do that. Um, actually, I, I'm not really sure how to break those. Maybe with... Um, what's it called? Whoa, I just broke two! Huh, well, uh, that just shows that I have no idea how to break those ones. I... Woo, look at him fly! I wonder. Nah, it didn't break. Okay, so I seriously don't know how to break the metal ones. Maybe just go fast enough. I'm really sure the kicking didn't do anything. Uh, at least I tried. And blowing them off doesn't work. At least we got the jiggy. I thought we weren't going to for a moment there. <coughs> so, well, we have our jiggy from bottles here. Next one. Well, I suppose it could be... Well, let's save the words for last, so let's just change vehicles to the mm, Copter Mark II. No, wait, this is too slow. Or not, okay, it's not that slow. We're going up there, we're going to build another vehicle for this one. This one being a dart throwing game, and the dart is your car. As soon as you get off the ramp, you have minimal control on the car, on, well, on the plane. 
so I'll give you some tips on it. So let's see. Hello, Buggy. Let's get to it. We don't have to hear, hear this one because I already explained it. It's a dart throwing game. Oh, he gives us the darts. He, he does? I don't remember. remember. Uh, he does? No, he doesn't. Okay. So let's just uh, build um, a flying motorcycle. Let's see. We have a fly mark 5, which is a flying motorcycle. Huh. So let's just modify it. I'll see you guys in a moment. Minutes, even less. Haha. Okay, let's just call this one the dart because it's all it, it'll be doing since we have the Mark V, which is better than this design. Well, kinda. So with the dart, let me try to explain how this will work. Since I told you, you get minimal control after you leave the ramp. So you open your wings, and right here, you lose control. You are only slightly flying so my tip for you is try to aim for the 40 right in front of you which I already missed and I'm going to restart I uh, you can aim for the little 50s and all of that but with only 40s you get the jiggy so let me just try that as for controls after you leave the ramp you Um, you only turn on your place, which, hey, 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 what, what gives, it doesn't turn, am I going, well, at least I landed on the 40, or not, what the hell, <laughs> what was that, I was, ah. um, you turn on place, apparently you can only steer forward, I mean backwards, which leaves Lift your your point your front part, which it's uh, no. You can also go down. One day, well, anyways, as I was saying, I recommend aiming for the 40 in front of you. If you want to go for the um, for the 50s, it's a good idea since you only get three attempts. Four? I'm I don't actually remember how many attempts. So let's try a name for the 50. Okay, so <clears throat> you turn in place so as you you don't return to your previous um, to, to to completely horizontal after you let go of the of the stick of your uh, yeah to your left stick. So you have to use that angle you. Uh, end up with to steer yourself and I almost didn't make it like this so you stay there you steer up to move okay I don't think I'll be able to get any points for this one what the hell this was working a moment I go okay at least we can oh my god no course you Oh my goodness! That was horrible, but at least you now you know what happens when you doesn't you don't land on a scoring place. And I almost forgot to open my wings again. So I'll just follow my own ex uh, tip and land on the 40. Not only on the 40. I think it's only four tries, anyways. Let's see. Four tries. Five tries? Five tries! You will get five tries to get the Jiggy. So, I got a, a zero, but I'm already already at the Jiggy part, which is, you know, not that bad. 
you if you aim only for 50s you get the trophy I know that for a fact or at least I can remember that yeah I think you get it I think you get it don't quote on me on, on that um, well we got the Jiggy with a zero but doesn't matter for some reason it didn't actually work properly uh, like I thought it would uh, I was pretty good in this uh, event but apparently I lost practice so we have another um, another mission up here which the last two missions uh, doesn't requ require you to build your own car so that's pretty good actually the, the, we don't waste any more time so uh, that big costume uh, leads away. Uh, we have to leave the trophy. The, the trophy. The, um, oh my God! The torch. We have to leave the torch since it's off. For that, we have a boat with the torch with with the flame of the torch. The torch, because as we all know, the flame used for the torch is special for whatever reason. I don't actually know or well, I kind of care because. I'm doing it right now, but it's special, so it it can be any fire. So the thing here is, if the flame touches the water, it's game over. You have to restart. And there's this stuff falling from this, uh, the sky for no apparent reason. I I suppose Grantilda is throwing them. So now, whoa, boat! Now that you're here. You attach. You have to at the 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 the. You have to attach these four wheels to your vehicle. So now it's an amphibian, and hence can run on the seal on the walls. Hey, you didn't move last time I was here. Well, anyways, for the trophy you have to be extremely careful, but also extremely fast. We already half time for the. Yeah! Oh my God. <clears throat> half time for the the trophy I don't think we're going to be able to get the trophy so the pink things I think I told you this before uh, these those vibrating balls throw you around and oh <gasps> jiggy time awesome I mean trophy time awesome wow uh, that I made that I made that look easier than it actually is because I have some practice. Yes. Anyways, if you fall from those from the high part, it's over. The, no matter what, maybe if you're really really lucky, it won't happen. But for the most part, if you for whatever reason fall, the torch to touches the water, so it's game over right there, and you have to start from the very beginning. So, as you all know, I always save the very fun last uh, fun for, for last. This time being, again, Trophy Thomas. Hello, heavy thing. This thing attaches to your vehicle, making it, making it a lot, lots and lots heavy. Oh my god, this one. Okay, so... <clears throat> For this one, we're going to go through a series of checkpoints, avoiding the dominoes, but here's the catch, we're in a giant ball, <coughs> sorry, ball of death. And there's another catch, your controls are reversed, not like um, accelerate is brake and brake is accelerate, no, left is right and right is left. So yeah, kind of not. If you're used to it, it's not all that hard. But still, it's really confusing. Even if you have practice, there's times where you actually forget it. And you're so used to it, you actually forget there's something going on. So the first part is actually pretty standard. Just going around corners and avoiding the the things, the dominoes. And I forgot <laughs> my consoles were reversed there. <clears throat> okay, so um, now right 
Whoa, look at that air right there! Here it's quite alright, as you can see you have plenty of time to get the trophy and to get the Jiggy. But believe me, you need that time. Especially here where it all comes down to the last part. Oh my goodie. Or is it... No, wait! We're not even halfway through this plate. Wow! I just... Wow, no, just... Wow. Okay, so let's see if we can get the... I forgot, my controls were reversed. Thank you. Thank you, Brain, for remembering that little important thing about this game. Uh, yeah. As you saw there, every time you not you knock not you not you you knock a, a uh, what's it called one of these things the dominoes. Each time you stumble against a domino, two seconds are added to your time, which is pretty pretty bad for you if you're aiming for the trophy. Or sometimes if you're aiming for the Jiggy, which, well, it's a game for collecting Jiggies, I don't know why you couldn't be aiming for the Jiggy. <clears throat> Anyways, now this is the part I hate the most. Oh my god, that was so nerve-wracking! Yeah, you only have barely enough place to... Oh my god, no! I refuse! I refuse! And I knock crap over. Okay, let's see. No! Oh my god! I'll meet you back, back there. The thing here is that no, even if the, the car looks bulky and all, it's really fast. Well, actually, fast for this, this mission and. Uh, Kinda hard to control what with the reverse and all. So yeah, it's fast and aerodynamic, I suppose. Oh, one thing that I notice is when you have well well at least when that that happens to me, is that when I have to hit reverse for whatever reason, I lose control of my brain and forgot forget that um, that my controls are reversed for whatever reason. Listen, now here is some nerve wracking. Whew. Now, if you're afraid of heights, this is especially nerve wracking. Oh, so close! I thought I could beat the computer before it could register that knocking over of the uh, thing. So anyway, so well, for me getting there, I stumbled against three, yeah, three dominoes, and I actually was going to get the trophy time if I hadn't just thought I could beat the computer in processing things, which believe me, I can't. So I think that's all five final jiggies in the uh, jiggies in this final act, act six. But remember, we're also missing the the Gruntilda fight. Let me just check my uh, <clears throat> my rather here. I think it's all of them. Okay, let's let's just quickly go here into the costume at six. Yeah, we have all of the jiggies. Huh? Wow. Okay, let's just head out of here, and, uh, well, um, as, as we go get those jiggies back uh, to the bank and all, I want to apologize for the lack of let's playing I've been having in this, and in my channel, um, the Cargos channel, because where I'm planning on making a let's play exclusive channel in the, in, in the near future, or, or at least as uh, soon as I get more viewers. Um, yeah, I, sorry for not uh, recording anything uh, Banjo Kazooie related, related, but I didn't feel like uh, 
like playing. I, I was, I don't know, I was uh, depressed or something. I'm not really sure. If you saw my, if you watched my last episode, you might have noticed uh, there was something wrong with me. I'm not really sure what was wrong with me, but I'm sure something was. Well, more than the usual stuff, anyway. Um. So I, I'd like to apologize. If you speak Spanish, well, you had 13 videos about me and my cousin messing around uh, Hell Ridge in easy difficulty. If you don't speak Spanish, well, at least if you, and if you didn't, if you did watch those videos, uh, well, you had some fun watching the Spartans shooting stuff. I believe, I suppose. If you're watching this in the future, well, you uh, you won't suffer for the lack of videos. And then we get 88 um, jiggies. Not that it's uh, important on, or anything, since well, we're not opening anything or, or getting anything for it. But in the next episode, we're going to finish. Finally, finally, we're going to finish chapter six of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Balls. As we go and fight Gruntilda on the Jigosium for a second time. And yeah, it's chapter act four and five are Gruntildas. Gruntilda fights. Yeah. Okay, so as always don't forget to subscribe, rate and comment either you like this episode or not. Also you can follow me on Facebook, just search for Jalisco with the X and all the per um over there somewhere. <clears throat> that Facebook is for my Jalisco Says um, channel, which has only three episodes so far. If you're watching this in the future, maybe there's more. Anyways, Jalisco out.